Hey, hey, Izzy, box up, 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 Watch out with you, Gation. Get on those buildings. Roger that, Sergeant. Remember, we are full hole 107 when that gun gets. Oh, 
have two 240s here. Oh. Oh. I'm going to get that fucking Give me a team! Give me a team! Give me a team! Watch out with you, Gation. Get on those buildings. Roger that, Sergeant. Remember, we are Pujo 107 when that gun gets. F-R-A-N-C-E-S-C-O-L-A -E -E -E. space T-O-R-R-E. Your official title with the BID. I am the Director of Effects in the Bayonet Innovation Team. All right, what are we going to see here today? Uh, today we're doing an FPV live fire. So today is a static engagement. Tomorrow we'll do a dynamic engagement on a moving target. 
these targets are provided by Marathon Targets, so it's an autonomous vehicle. It's about the size of an SUV, um, and uh, it has two occupants inside. We're going to uh, be engaging it with our purpose-built trittable system. That's the Sky Raider FPV drone uh, that is made and assembled by 173rd Sky Soldiers. And the arming device on the system is provided by Devcom Armament Center, and that's from Project Shank. Why is it important to build our own drones? Why are we doing this? Uh, we build our own drones because uh, that enables us to have a, a needs-based approach to procurement. We can very quickly uh, design our own capabilities and uh, meet the needs of commanders uh, and uh, fill capability gaps all the way down to the lowest level. Why are we blowing up drones today? We're blowing up drones today uh, because we don't do it enough. Um, over 60% of all engagements in the Ukraine-Russian war are done with FPV drones. And uh, right now, uh, the U.S. Army just needs to get more reps at blowing up FPV drones. That's why we're doing it out here. Do you think this training is good, and why? I think this training is great. Um, not only are the operators getting a rep at uh, aerial navigation and target identification uh, over a two-kilometer range, um, but they're also engaging uh, static and moving targets, uh, so it's a very dynamic situation. The, the training is very realistic. We're also meshed in um, with an adjacent unit, 3rd ID, uh, so Charlie Company 369 Armor Battalion is here supporting us with their Bradleys, um, so uh, the Sky Soldiers are getting a chance to integrate with other units. Hell yeah, anything I didn't ask you'd like to add? Uh, I'd just like to add that you know any, any brigade can, can do this training if they're, if they're willing to, to put in the work. Uh, it, it takes a, a, a little bit of work to, to get to the point where you have your own UAS platforms and a little more work to, to arm them, um, but it is definitely possible and I, I think that in the near future most brigades are doing this training very frequently.